My name is Long Chen. I'm a senior manager for the, the PIC team, the Photonic Integrated Circuit team. We work on the design and testing of chips providing for Acacia modules. What we're trying to solve is to provide PICs that can move along with the trend. That means providing higher date rate at smaller size and lower power consumption, and then lower the cost through optical integration. I think every Acacia Kohan module starting from the CIP to AC1200 to the 400ZR used PICs uh, coming from our team. Higher board weight definitely is a big challenge. Modulator will detect that they have its own limitation or, or trade-off in terms of how fast you can push them. A lot of innovation comes how to do the uh, process in the fabrication foundry and also then on the other side, co-design with the driver and, and the package team to allow for uh, overall better performance. One big argument people often well quote is that the infrastructure of CMOS, we can leverage the uh, higher yield, lower cost characteristics uh, associated with working with the CMOS. The infrastructure of the CMOS fab is there, and then many of the, most, most of the tools are there you can share. So for us, uh, the important thing is to develop processes that are specifically for photonics and improve upon them. When we first started silicon photonics uh, for Kohan application, there were a lot of doubts that, oh, maybe silicon can work for, not be good for coherent, or maybe you can only do 100G QPSK, you cannot do higher constellation, or you cannot do higher board rate. I think we, as we move along the years, we have shown that silicon photonics can do a very high performance, high board, high date rate with little difference, performance difference compared to what you can get from the best classic discrete components. The one thing that we are leveraging is what have people done in electronics, I say most. For example, 3D stacking is a mature technology people use in electronics to be able to get higher density of a connection and a lower cost. And then for photonics to utilize that, 3D stacking is actually a very big step from traditional way of packaging. We are moving towards 3D stacking and be able to allow higher date rate, better uh, signal integrity, and at the same time, lower cost. So a lot of things we learned in our many years of production, you can't get those from papers. One differentiator that we have that other companies go into production, even if you do the same foundry process, they will encounter those set of problems that we already figured out and, and, and have solutions for. The benefits of vertical integration, I, I see that from three different aspects. The first one, of course, is vertical integration often means you have lower cost compared to buying from different com companies. The second one is that when we have teams from different backgrounds and we learn from them, how to make our pick better uh, in terms of what they learn in not photonics in other areas. And then the third part is that being vertically integrated allow us to design things that you cannot actually even do if you're just buying from different vendors. What I like most about Kesha is the people and the technology. People meaning that we have very diverse groups of people with different area of expertise. For example, we just had a lunch with people from DSP and I just learned two, two new things there today. So that's very exciting. And the other thing is technology. We are at the forefront of pushing uh, integrated photonics, and that's always very challenging, but at the same time, very high reward in the sense that you can make product uh, best uh, in the class, in the industry, and then be able to see those going into real-world applications.